Today, I'm in Stockholm to discover famous Swedish roasters I've heard a lot about. Scandinavia is known for its light roasted coffee, which preserves a lot of the beans' natural flavors. In Sweden, people love to meet around coffee and cinnamon buns for a social time they call fika. But what is specialty coffee like in the Swedish capital? Let's find out by visiting one of the best places in town, Drop Coffee Specialty Roasters, located in Stockholm, Southern Ireland. I'm on my way to discover them and learn more about Swedish coffee culture. Drop Coffee are a central feature of the Swedish specialty coffee scene. But the coffee they roast is also known well outside Sweden. Today, I meet the shop's manager to learn more about him and drop coffee. Uh, my name is Sergei. I've been living in Stockholm for 11 years now. I work back home in Russia. I used to work in a restaurant business mostly. So it was a lot of with, like, work with service with people. When I moved here, of course, it was an easy way to start. And after a few years, I started working in a coffee shop that's unfortunately closed now. It used to be sneaky back in seven. It was, it was located in a, in a city. And this is where I started to know, to learn more about specialty coffee, about different varieties, different brewing methods. I don't think I appreciated it at, this, at that time. That was maybe 2015. For me, it was just a coffee. Uh, but the more I worked with it, the more I developed my taste. Eight years later, I found myself at Chop Coffee And yeah, it's absolutely incredible place with fantastic selections of coffee that's always changing. Same families that uh, Johan and Steven both working very close with. Drop Coffee is a roastery situated a little bit outside of Stockholm. This is the only coffee shop they have, but they also have a lot of wholesale going through the country and even the world. They are really dedicated to quality and traceability keeping the spirit of specialty coffee alive in the capital. I think Drop Coffee is still like holding this mark of specialty coffee. The farms that Johan and Steven, they personally travel like to make sure that everything is according to how it should be. So all the green beans that come in, we're roasting ourselves. Drop Coffee has been since 2009 and until, until today, yes, I, I, think, I think how we present a pro like a product as a coffee by brewing, talking about it, ta like tasting, brewing, roasting. So this whole complex uh, makes drop coffee special. People coming quite often, we have quite quite a few group of regulars that comes here. And at some, at some point they would know, okay, this coffee is new, for example, and it would be for us interesting to tell what's new, what's interesting, why, What's the profile? How does it taste? How is it better? The scene in Sweden, I think in general, it's it's just picking up a little bit more and more. I feel like we're still like on the process, like on the way to be independent, like not independent, but like something bigger. And there's a lot of ambitions, I would say, a lot of ambitions, possibilities interest. When it's gonna blow, it's gonna blow. Swedish specialty coffee is slowly growing. But what about the fika tradition? Is it a different way of experiencing coffee? Comparing coffee culture to uh, Swedish fika culture, of course there is uh, there is a bit of difference of consume, like what's, what's consuming. There's quite a few people that will come and expect a certain quality of a coffee. Let's say darker roast, oily, that they used to drink and coming back ask, uh, asking if that was a tea and not coffee. So of course, part of the culture. But I would say the more we talk about what's in the cup, the more they maybe are willing to try actually like to, to go with this kind of fika. But yeah, it is, it is a different, it's, it's a different concept of consuming fika and speciality coffee. But the, the more places there will be with the speciality coffee it's of course it's better for the environment it's better for everything and maybe yeah like people will i mean like me also i mean 2015 i didn't know anything so if you if you if you're willing I mean, to try they have no choice here so. if 
you want to experience Swedish specialty coffee culture at its best and try a different kind of fika, Drop Coffee is the place to be. There, you will find great coffee, great people and a cozy Scandinavian atmosphere at the heart of the capital.